Hi guys, so let's learn how to master extended response questions. In today's short video, I'm going to take you through a key question on the role of spindle fibers in mitosis that will really help you get those 15 marks in paper one for AQA A-level biology. So question one, describe the behavior of the chromosomes and the role of the spindle fibers in mitosis during prophase, metaphase, and anaphase. And this question is worth four marks. So describe, first of all, that means give an account of. So give an account of the behavior of chromosomes. So I'm gonna underline chromosomes. Now chromosomes are basically super condensed or super coiled chromatin, which is DNA and associated proteins. They've got a nice little centromere in the middle. And what I've drawn here is actually a homologous pair of chromosomes, which means homologous means they've got the same genes at the same locations. So we're going to describe the behavior of the chromosomes and the role of the spindle fibers. So let's just underline spindle fibers. Now we know that they branch out from the centrioles, which are a organelle within cells in mitosis. So we're not talking about meiosis, we're talking about mitosis during prophase, metaphase, and anaphase so three nice distinct phases there to get into okay so pause the video answer it and then we'll go through the mark scheme so you'll get your first mark for saying that during prophase the chromosomes condense now you could also say that the chromatin condenses or the chromatin shortens or thickens or you could even say the chromosomes shorten or thicken but basically what you need to be talking about is that the chromosomes are forming those sausage-like visible chromosomes under the microscope. So brilliant, we're describing the behavior of the chromosomes there. Next mark is for saying in prophase or metaphase, the spindle fibers attach to the centromeres. So the spindle fibers, they attach to that centromere in the middle of the homologous chromosomes. Your third mark comes for saying that in metaphase, chromosomes or pairs of chromatids line up at the equator of the cell. Now in the top right, I'm just gonna draw what that looks like. So you have your chromosomes lined up along the equator of the cell, and then we've got our spindle fibers attaching to the centromeres, originating from the centrioles at opposite poles. Okay. Your fourth mark is for saying that in anaphase, the centromeres divide. And actually under the microscope, the chromosomes in anaphase actually look V-shaped because they're being pulled to the opposite poles. So they're going to be pulled to this bit that I'm marking with a, a dot here. Fifth mark is for saying that in anaphase, the chromatids are pulled to opposite poles. So kind of what we were talking about before. So finally, a sixth way to get one of those marks is to say that in prophase, metaphase or anaphase, the spindle fibers shorten or contract. So you could have got the mark here for saying that in prophase, the spindle fibers shorten. Alternately, you could have said metaphase, the spindle fibers shorten, etc. Wherever there's a forward slash in the mark scheme, either or is totally acceptable. Right, guys, that's another one in the books. Hopefully you found it useful. I really want to help you guys master these exams. Like, comment and subscribe if you found some use of these videos. And let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. I will see you in the next one.